I woke up this morning and asked Google what time it was, and she said 9.42. I told you. Good morning, super cool party people, and welcome back to Monday. It is a beautiful sunny day outside today, which is nice, and I need to make some plans to meet up with Jessica. She asked if I want to come over to her parents' house, but no, <laughs> because I've been avoiding people for the last two weeks because trying to limit my exposure to people because we're having dinner with my grandma so I have to text her back and like be like do you want to go for a walk maybe because there's walking near my house um or something anyways that's where we're at um I'm hungry <laughs> it's just after 10 now I should probably go make myself something to eat I believe my mom has the turkey in already so that's exciting for us <laughs> And then I need to get onto my list. And that's another thing. Like, I have a massive list of things I need to do. Like, I definitely need to do invoicing today. And I should make at least one mask for the lady I work with. Because I'll probably be seeing her before anybody else. Also, the mask I'm making for my friend and his mom, like... We He's my friend that I've been walking with. So, like, we see each other pretty regularly. So, it's not too much of an issue. But... I need a shower because I'm gross. And I need to do laundry. And, and, and... So, I need to, like... I've been on my phone for like the last half hour, so I need to stop doing that and figure out the plan. I have the list, I just need the plan now. Alrighty, well hello, I am back from my meeting up with Jessica. Did I mention I was gonna go meet up with her? I did meet up with her um, and we went for a miniature walk, like not even 2K, but I got to meet her puppy for the first time, which was super cute and now I'm having a bit of an allergic reaction, but it's fine. I was having a bit of one this morning too and you know, it's just my life because it's, it's so dusty in my room. Like I have dusted several times since I came back from Blind Channel, but it, I'm just, I'm not winning. Anyways, I've got my laundry in which is super exciting because it's been a long time coming two loads Mostly because of fabric and I meant to like haul the fabric that she brought me before I put it in the dish in the dishwasher Before I put it in the laundry, but um, I totally forgot until I was like literally throwing in the to the tub So that's fine. Anyways, that should be about half an hour and that should be ready for me to go switch But I know you've seen this but look I got my copy of Don't Eat Me Crocodile from the author, Nate Ripley. I'll try to remember to link the page where you can buy it down below. He said that he thinks they've sold about a hundred books, which is very exciting because it's self-published. And he was like, my goal all along was just to sell to one person who I did not know in person. He's like, and last month or like the first month they sold like 50 copies. And he's like, I don't know 50 people. <laughs> So that's really exciting. I bought two though, don't tell them. Anyways, so I have a one direct from the author and it is autographed with the crocodile and a signature. And then I think probably the best part is, that's you. <laughs> it, it, yeah, so I think that's really funny. Anyway, so this can go on the shelf with my hardcover one. See, the reason that I wanted to buy it myself was one, to support them and two, like hardcover. Anyways, uh, I am currently going to go make myself some food, I think, because I'm quite peckish. My mom, while I was out, got so much done. Like, the turkey was already in, but she got all the veggies, veggies? I was going to say vegetables and veggies at the same time, and it did not go well. But she got all the veggies cut up in pots. She's got her roux started for the gravy, um, making good progress. So I think stage one of the laundry, as in the first, the wash, I'm going to feed myself. And then stage two, I'm going to try to get invoicing done which shouldn't take too long and then at least cut the one mask that I need to cut and sew it for tomorrow so that is exciting and um I also need to search for a very specific cord uh for my grandma because her cell phone's not charging anymore so I'm gonna see if I have a USB charging cable that would work uh but we shall see anyways i've been rambling i need to be eating and i will check in with you in a bit Alrighty, so uh all my laundry's done except for the stuff that didn't dry all the way so i switched it to the better dryer and put it on for another hour which will probably be overkill but whatever my room was nice and tidy until my laundry happened there's some of the fabric i will show you later or tomorrow once i get it all folded and pretty i did manage to cut one two <laughs> 
and three masks so that's exciting if I can just get the one sewn today I think that'll be great actually you know what I'm in Tuesday Wednesday Thursday this week and not just Tuesday Thursday so even Wednesday would be fine that's actually great news <laughs> I also did get invoicing done it did take me about 15 minutes as anticipated so that's cool so yeah we're making great strides I think we go down and see if my mom needs help peeling potatoes because I think that's that and then cutting up the stuff for like the chucatery ward. Ch chucatery? A French man. Chucatery. Um, I don't know how to say it. Um, doing that and that's really just a fancy way of saying it because it's, it's crackers and garlic sausage and pickles and cheese so it's not even that fancy. Anyways, I'm rambling now. So that I need to find a cord for my grandma like I mentioned if I have one so I need to actually climb under my bed and look. And then maybe get a shower in because I'm feeling kind of crusty, but we can survive if I don't. It is quarter after two, essentially. Oh, I need to set a timer for the laundry. Cool, sounds good. And um, yeah, so I'll, I'll go downstairs and then see where we get from there. But 45 minutes till my grandma gets picked up, so we'll, we'll see how we go. <laughs> Alrighty, so it is quarter after three now, so it's been about half an hour since check-in, I think, or has it been an hour? I think it's been an hour. Has it? I don't, I don't know. Anyways, I went and grabbed the rest of my laundry. It's a situation. I am aware. I put some makeup on I ch and I got my Pac-Man scrunchie, which is super cute. I changed and then I changed back into what I was wearing because I was like, this is cuter and far more comfortable. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna go downstairs now and get ready for my grandma to come and then just eat snacks. It's, it's go time from now till whenever we're finished. It's just gonna be eating time. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I will check in with you as I can. I don't know. I, I doubt while we're eating dinner because it's like we're just like chatting and stuff, but who knows? <laughs> back I rearranged or switched up the decor on my wall as you just saw it's something that I've been contemplating doing for a while initially I was gonna put hoops on this wall which is why I put the curtain lights up and then I hated the curtain lights <laughs> so just use the light strand that I had in blind channel and I kind of like it I have another one somewhere I don't know where uh, but I have another one somewhere that I might put. It's just a straight one though, so I might actually try to get another one of those once Walmart reopens after having burnt a little bit. I'm also, I just realized I'm triple fisting here. I got my water. I have Coke that was partially open and then my throat's kind of been bugging me, so I opened up a Sprite. So we triple fist in here. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, as promised, I'm gonna show you my fabric. Uh, I just wanna show this one again because I love it so much. And it's also very on brand. These wizards are just the cutest things ever. It's like, oh. when I first saw them in the store, I, I know I mentioned it the other day, like I saw them and I was like, I love them. And I was like, I don't need them. And then the next time I went back in, I was like, I love them, I don't need them. And then before I left the store, I was like, I need them. So, got that. And then this is one of the fabric choices that Jessica sent me so it's Harry Potter stained glass kind of situation it was a pain to fold the one side did not want to fold it's still kind of ugly but it's okay every time I fold fabric no matter what if I think I folded it the same way it always looks slightly different next I have this like quibbler at Hogwarts it's like a newspaper print I love this <laughs> I might have to make myself a mask out of this. It'll work really well for scrunchies too, and also if I want to for those reusable washi face pad things. Also, take this opportunity to say, have you read Harry Potter? It's written by this kid named um, Harry Potter. It's a biography. <laughs> Love the art, don't support the artist. It's cool. Already supported that artist so much. Um, also, Jessica bought this fabric like ages ago. It's just taken me like three months to get it. She also sent me this DC little chibi dudes. Got the Flash, um, Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman here a little bit upside down. 
yeah, that's fun. And then classic, gotta have the Harry Potter house crest, that's the word. I do have more Harry Potter fabric coming, um, just because I think it's going to be popular. Um, so I do have more coming <laughs> in a pre-order. My Christmas pre-order that I placed with Fangirl Fabrics is on the way, which is super exciting. And the other order, though, however, wow, could you use any more, like, transition words, um, is not on the way yet. And then lastly, but not least, the Marauder's Map. Part of me wants to make a mask out of this, but the other part of me that is like, I don't want to say OCD, but who likes when things line up would be like, but is it going to line up? But anyways, I got two meters of this and I have two meters of the house crest, so I can experiment. I also want to experiment with zippers again. <laughs> I'm going to continue trying to make that bag that went miserably the first time. It didn't go terribly the first time. The first zipper was not great, <laughs> but the second zipper did not work. Anyways, that's the fabric I got as promised. That's my cute wall over there. I think I might hang my tapestry over top of my bookshelves. I've had it like that before and that way I can make it less cute <laughs> and I can stuff things and then I can get more storage there. That's kind of what I'm thinking because right now we are struggling for storage. And so I do have some storage solutions coming, not this week, but next week, as I mentioned. One of them is just a um, shoe rack to go underneath of the toy box there. The toy box typically houses my sewing machine when I'm not using it, although honestly lately I feel like I'm just using my sewing machine all the time. And then I'm hoping that by having that shoe rack under there, because it'll give me, it's up from the floor so that I can slide my cutting mats under there, they'll still stick out a bit, but not like right now where they're like out quite a bit into the room, like taking up half my walking space. Uh, and then I can also have notions or even like my thread or something on the next one So I'm very excited about that and then I do have another piece coming for the corner Which I'm also very excited for I couldn't get the one I want it Because um, I didn't think it was gonna fit and this one I hope it fits because uh, The smaller one I didn't want so fingers crossed that'll work out have to wait a while for that, but that's the situation. I need to fold my clothes. I think I'm just going to drop all the new fabric into the ottoman as something that I can work on at some point. I need to count my scrunchies this week, I think. I don't know. I just, I feel like a mess. Are you going to stay? I feel like I have so much stuff to do and just no time to do it. And that's not true. Like, I can, I can calm down, but I can't calm down. So, this week, the goal is to do an inventory of all my things and probably I guess set up a spreadsheet on my computer and I need to set up like a sales spreadsheet too because right now I've just been keeping track of my sales in my phone which is not terrible um but also not the greatest <laughs> speaking of I have given Jessica those scrunchies so I don't need to worry about it but yeah like I've just got like mask sales here just what I sold on each day. I don't even have a total because I don't think you can do like Excel things in the notes here. So yeah, anyways, I'm rambling now. I just feel like I have so much stuff to do. It's fine. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go now and I am going to not fold my clothes, maybe fold my clothes, probably not fold my clothes, um, but start to think about getting ready for bed. Oh man, it's only 9.15, wow. We had dinner really early. We had dinner at like five because it was turkey. Yeah, I guess I'll um, do something. <laughs> Alrighty, well, it is quarter to 12 now. I decided yeah. not to shower and just get ready for bed. So I'm now in my PJs. I washed my face, put on my moisturizer, all that fun stuff. My bed is peeled back. I did not fold my clothes. Well, I did fold my clothes. I just put them all back in the hamper. So <laughs> at some point, hopefully in the next couple days, I will put all the folded stuff away, but more importantly, hang the stuff that I hate hanging. I like legitimately just hung the clothes from the last time I did laundry yesterday, so <sighs> that's fine. Anyways, with that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure, and I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things. <laughs> Good night.